So this is inside the Tan Ki house, another of the ancient houses of Hoi An. This one is 200 years old. One of the ancestors there. And this amazing inlaid inlaid mother of pearl in the wood. And the interior courtyard. Very similar to the other one that we just looked at. Beautiful stonework and mosaic work. Carved wood, balconies. I hope we can go up there and see. And a lady's bed. With, I think, a very firm pillow. <laughs> Beautiful. Flood level markings two thousand sixteen, two thousand ten, thirteen, eleven, ninety-nine, oh seven, oh nine. This is over my head. This is about up to my mouth. Photos of the flooding It's hard to see properly And this kid saved his pet dog And of course you got trinkets for sale And you've got in-house parking, always handy. So this trunk was used for the first three generations of the family from 1790. Used to hold precious items, jewellery, land certificates, etc. Later it was used to hold charity fund and records of Min Bong commune.
beautiful. I am a sucker for old boxes. This one, this trunk was used by the third generation lady, 1858 to 1947. She's the one who ran the family business for over 60 years. And here we have... Oh, a human-powered rice huller. Several rice hullers similar to this last one were used to remove the chaff, the outer husks of grains of rice, by the family's peasants until around the middle of the 20th century. Okay, not quite sure how it works. So there's a handle at the end here, and walk ah, and, and with the handle, you walk around this central container, and it manually removes the husks from the rice. There we go. And here's some old baskets for winnowing. Big old pestle and mortar. <laughs> and more beautiful items. Ah, a reconut and beetle nut tray. This has been used in many ceremonial occasions since the second generation. Beautiful. This is a lime container. It's tiny. It looks like a little charm on a chain. Beautifully carved silver lime container, convenient for travelers. The sophisticated designs show the status of the owner a lady who used it in the first half of the 20th century. I'm not quite sure how you get lime into that. It's tiny. Oh, no irons. Put coals inside. I've seen these in many different countries. This is a brass pan. This is a smoothing iron. Teapots, teacups. Ah, so tea is used not only to quench thirst, but to drink it in aristocratic activities such as composing poems, tending flowers, or simply appreciating nature. Yes. So these red clay teapots were made in China in the 19th century and they're expensive because they can maintain the tea flavor much longer than normal. Don't clean them with soap. You rinse them with a little bit of tea. One tea flavour per pot. Incense burner. Pomegranate shaped incense burner. Agar wood for producing incense. 